Your next comedian coming to the stage is a very funny young man, relative newcomer to the comedy scene. He's been kicking ass. Did you just get that joke for the drink? <laughs> Some of these jokes are fucking time released. <laughs> You're laughing, you'll know why. <laughs> All right, this next guy, you're gonna love him. Let's give him a round of applause for Jeffrey Norwood. Right here. Right here. Hey, everybody, how are you? I think it's really hot up here because Jim was up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 that's right. You already got my gig. Jim. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? So, this is a hot crowd. This is, I would, we should all have sex right now. <laughs> Even the strand of there's some straight people here I heard tonight, which is, congratulations for coming and we're gonna have sex with you too. <laughs> Imagine you know, once someone goes gay, they never go back. No one goes back. No one's like, eh, that was all right. Maybe I'll try it again. Not like that. Um, anyway, guys, again, thanks for coming out. You guys seem like you're full of energy. Give yourselves another round of applause. So if someone walked in, I think they think it'd be Club Cafe, not a, not a basement of uh, Remington's over here at a restaurant. Um, my name is Jeff Norwood. I am English and Polish, which means I eat crappy food and I can't screw in a light bulb. So, <laughs> so. Um, I don't know if y'all had a good summer with a beautiful summer up here for a change up here in, uh, in Boston. Um, I spent actually a lot of time up at uh, Hampton Beach in New Hampshire. And if you know, don't know what Hampton Beach is, just picture the people of Walmart outside. <laughs> I don't know if I am here. I'm actually dating a, a fine young man who's out, uh, lives up in Lynn. I've never been out, I'm actually from Worcester. I say that, and some people are very surprised I can say it today, I live in but anyway. Um, there's another place called, next to Lynn called, a place called, um, it's called like Mass Discount Mart, and it's supposed to be cheaper than a Walmart, and that concerns me that if you can't afford something at Walmart, maybe you shouldn't be shopping at all. <laughs> I mean, I'll stop, you know, kind of guess it's a thing. And there's a lot of potholes in that city, by the way, over there on Lynn. Huh, are you guys from Lynn, Revere? Don't go there, your car will blow up. Feels like you're going to fix your balloon job. Sorry about that, but uh, um, what's up? That's right, that's right. And that is here we have. That's good. And you have my favorite disease, which is Tourette's. <laughs> Speaking of disease, you know, my favorite TV show, I don't know if anybody here watches Dr. House, uh, who is a pretty hot guy, but yeah. also one of my favorite shows, I get, get all my advice from Ray, uh, which is why I can uh, diagnose any of my friends with lupus any day of the week. <laughs> uh, besides Tourette's being my favorite disease, I also have a, uh, I think if I was a blind person, I'd always felt, my jokes don't make any sense about it, we go all over the place, it's like Picasso up here, but, um, <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. Let's not try that again. Um, no. Um, this is why I don't do any improv right here. This is why. So, so my favorite disease, uh, if I was a blind person, it would have to be herpes. Can you imagine a, uh, the only disease that if you were making out with someone, it would talk back to you. So, too, too personal, I'm sorry about that. I just want to know if it breaks out because it says a different thing each time. I'm just saying, I'm just curious. I know, those STD jokes are huge over here. Uh, first, first gig I ever did was in a little uh, comedy, a uh, college gig, was in a little college called Freedom Lakes Community College up in Buffalo, New York. And their um, specialty is taxidermy. I'm not sure if you did, but by a round of applause, anybody know what taxidermy is? Yeah. I, you know, it's when you take, you know, the animals and stuff them and they go into your windshield. Um, I'm a city, I'm a city kid. You know, stuff them when you go into your windshield. Um, I'm a city kid. When we kill something, we leave it there. You know? <laughs> um, also this summer, if, is that really weird? Skinny jeans? Just curious. Has anybody seen this big trend where everyone kind of looks new? Like everyone's wearing skinny jeans. Big people and small people, and it doesn't make any sense to me. 
My, uh, my, I have a good, uh, once I had a good his, a Hispanic friend who wore skinny jeans, and uh, he did it because he said, I, I think it, he was 5'10", like 110 pounds. So it highlighted his bone structure really well. <laughs> now, it, it looked really restricting, but he told me he wore them because it highlighted his package. And I reminded him that you are Hispanic. You may have the rhythm of a black man, but you're probably hung like a white man. So don't forget <laughs> That's why we're not friends anymore. <laughs> That's right there. Um, I uh, was, um, let's see where we are. There we are. All right, sorry. I don't have a horrible memory. I don't even know where we are right now. Um, so, now that I remember, we're in Worcester, apparently. This is like your okay, favorite punchline, Worcester. I've never heard of that. It's a great joke, it really is. You should hear yeah, other people say it. Let's all practice. Worcester. Let's stop it. Was, that's right. You want the Vermeer accent. That was really awesome. Uh, so I was uh, born six weeks early. I was premature, and the reason is is because I went the fuck out of that vagina. Let me tell you. <laughs> when, um, you know, it's really funny. I, some people ask me if uh, if uh, my parents knew. No, I'm gay. And I, I don't know how they don't know, because I think when the doctor looked up my mother's vagina, I, I was playing Rainbow Light, the Rainbow Bright, rather, uh, in her uterus. Which is probably the only time you're getting a uterus on a pipeline tonight, so I think you guys should feel special about that. Um, I used to ask you, you dazzle her, her uh, platypus, I mean, for plus I She has a You know, my mom's schizophrenic, but now I know why. Um, <laughs> any girls here? You don't have this problem, do you? Get that checked out if you do. Um, actually, a little bad is actually. Um, I'm going to bring back Jim while I'm off the stage. I forgot that that was a nice I, can go, I can't go back now. So, you guys have an awesome <laughs>